guys, and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. This week is our first week back to school, but Monday was actually Labor Day, so we didn't make a special lunch that day. Hi guys, and happy Tuesday. For today's lunch, I went with a back to school theme with lots of ABCs and one, two, threes. For today's sandwich, I went ahead and made a regular PB&J, but to make it really cute, I used my apple-shaped cookie cutter. And then for some added fun, I took a straw and I poked a hole into each sandwich. And then I stuck half of a gummy worm in each sandwich. So it looks like the little worm is coming out of our apple sandwich. To go along with this, I'm also giving the kids some baby bell cheese. And I'm using my mini cookie cutters to cut the wax off of the top. Now we're left with a one, two, and three. Super cute and easy. In this back corner, I'm giving the kids some cheese it crackers, and these are the Scrabble version of the crackers, and so they each have a letter on them, which is perfect for today's lunch. And then in this other corner, I have a very special back to school treat. These are easy to make, but they do take a little bit of time. So I actually made these the night before, but they're really easy, even your kids could help you make them. All you need is a wafer cookie, and I went ahead and cut each end to a point. Then using some melted chocolates, I added a little pink on the end to look like the pencil's eraser. And then on the tip of the pencil, I used a little bit of white chocolate topped with a chocolate chip to look like the pencil's lead. I had seen this idea a lot on Pinterest and I always wanted to try it and I think it came out really cute. I'm also giving the kids some cucumbers today. This is a really big cucumber, so I was able to use my little number cookie cutters to cut out the center. And then in this last section, I'm going to give the kids some melon balls. This is actually cantaloupe. I'm gonna throw in some special picks for the melon balls. These all have letters on them. Perfect for today's lunch. Now before I wrap these up for the kids, I made sure to take a picture that I could share with our Bunches of Lunches Facebook group. And if you like to make fun lunches too, go ahead and join our group. You can share your lunch creations. Mackenzie, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was the, like, the pencils. The pencils? What about you, Jack? Um, uh, the pencils and uh, the apple. The apple was cool. What about you, Lily? The apple. For today's lunch, I have a pineapple, flamingo, and cactus theme. I found these cookie cutters at Michael's and I just thought they were so cute. Now for today's lunch, I'm making another PB&J. These sandwiches came out super cute, but they were really easy. To make these sandwiches, all you have to do is use one piece of white bread and one piece of wheat bread. Use your cookie cutter to cut out the center and then swap the two pieces out. To go along with this, I'm also giving the kids some poppables. This is kind of like a potato chip, but it's a cheese flavored one. For our vegetable today, I'm packing lots of sugar snap peas. And then in the smaller container, I'm also giving the kids some slices of cheese. And I went ahead and used my pineapple cutter to make them look super cute. And then for our fruit today, I'm giving the kids a combination of watermelon and blueberries. And for the watermelon, I used my flamingo cookie cutter. I get to pack these in the kids' new lunch boxes. And then for Lily's lunch, I'm also going to give her a little box of craisins because I know she loves them. <laughs> and then we'll head out the door. Here's what we ate. Time to check the lunches. I've got all the kids with me. We'll go ahead and start with Mackenzie's. What do you think, Mackenzie? It was good. What was your favorite part? The sandwich. The sandwich was it cool with the uh, mm -hmm. cutout in there? Yeah. Yeah. What do you, what do you think, Jack? Mm -hmm. What was in there? That were peas. Peas? Oh no, it was the poppables. Oh. No, the poppables were in here. In the oh, room. okay. So you like the peas, the sugar snack peas? Mm -hmm. And you ate most of your fruit and your cheese. And what did you think, Lily? It was good. What was your favorite part? The, the craisins. The craisins. She has a few left in there. But she did pretty good with her sandwich. And the fruit is almost gone, so good job today, guys. See you tomorrow. Happy first day. For today's lunch, I started by making some bagel sandwiches. For this, I used some plain mini bagels, and then they added some vegetable cream cheese. 
And then to make it really fun, I added googly eyes to each sandwich. In this back corner, I'm giving the kids a little peanut snack. I get these at Trader Joe's and they are so good. And these are not like a sweet snack. For the vegetable today, I'm giving the kids some carrots and I made them look really fun using my crinkle cutter. And then for a special treat today, I'm also including some yogurt pretzels, but these are strawberry yogurt flavored. They're really good. Now in this compartment, I'm also going to give the kids some yogurt. This is a Greek yogurt in the vanilla flavor. And then on the opposite side, I'm going to pack it full of fruit, strawberries and blueberries. Those go so well with yogurt. Okay, Lily, what was your favorite part of today's lunch? Um, the yogurt covered pretzels. The yogurt pretzels, yeah, those are yummy. What about you guys? My favorite was the bagel with the cream cheese. Bagel with the cream cheese and the yogurt. The yogurt. I love that yogurt too. It's so good. Hi guys and welcome to Friday. We made it through the first week of school. So we're kind of having a party today with pizza for our lunch. Now lots of times we like to make our own pizza, but when I'm short on time, I like to buy the ones ready made from Trader Joe's, they are so good. Now one pizza is probably gonna be quite a lot for one kid, so if there's any leftovers, they can have it for an after school snack. Now since we are having pizza, I'm going to give the kids some black olives. I think those go really well together. I'm also gonna throw in some sugar snap peas. I wanna try to use those all up before they go bad. And then for the fruit today, I'm also gonna give them some grapes. For a special treat today, I'm also giving the kids some fruit snacks. These are the Annie's fruit snacks, and they're actually Halloween ones. And then I also have a special drink, and today we went with Minions. Okay guys, now I know you all really like the pizza, but what part did you not like of lunch today? What was your least favorite? The olives. You don't like olives? No. What about you, Jack? Um, uh, I like the pizza and no, the it's gum. What, it's what, you what, you, what didn't you like? The peas. The peas weren't your favorite? Mm -mm. What about you, Lily? I like everything. You liked all of it? Uh-huh. Stay sweet. Were you able to find the <laughs> hidden lunchbox in today's video? If you did, let us know when you found her. Leave us a comment down below using the hashtag Luna Lunchbox. That way we can choose you for next week's shout out. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.